Investing in groundbreaking biological research is important to provide in-depth scientific understanding that helps shape the world around us. Rory Challens went to find out how biology at the University of Oxford is committing to research, innovation, skills and new technology to benefit people and society. Oxford has been a seat of scientific excellence for centuries. And in 2019, the university is more committed than ever to asking big questions about the natural world and our place in it. Things like how we feed ourselves um, as the population grows, how we respond to new emerging diseases, how we live with you know, the other aspects of biodiversity on the planet. At the university's White and Woods, one of the most researched pieces of forest in the world, I heard why this is an exciting time for biology at Oxford. The university is committed to build a major new building which will house a new biology department um, in the next few years. And that's the largest single investment in any science building the university's ever made. So it's a real vote of kind of confidence in the importance and the vitality of this subject. Professor Sheldon expects this will boost idea sharing and lift scientific study here to new heights. Unsurprisingly, there is a huge amount of biology being done here at Oxford University. Some 70 research projects going on at the moment. That's far too many to go into here. So in these Petri dishes, I have a more manageable data set of three. And first up, the zebra project. <laughs> In February 2016, a previously obscure and insignificant mosquito-borne virus called Zika became a global health emergency. Worst hit was Brazil, where thousands of babies were born with microcephaly, small heads and brains. A few months later, Dr Nuno Faria and his team embarked on a road trip. 2,000 kilometres in 15 days, targeting um, the public health laboratories that had seen most uh, Zika and microcephaly cases. They took the Minion, a pocket-sized genome sequencer developed at Oxford, to analyse genetic samples as they travelled. We were able to identify when and where Zika virus was exactly introduced in, in, the, in the continent, and uh, we found out that Zika was circulating for more than one year undetected in specific regions of Brazil. Next up, the Darwin Tree of Life project. Oxford University will play a big part in this ambitious mission to map the DNA of all 66,000 species in the UK. As an ecologist, I'm interested in how species interact. So understanding who eats who, who's connected to who. This might allow us to, to predict better uh, what some of the ramifications of individual species going extinct within communities might be. Already we, we've sequenced at draft level the, the genomes of several moth species. These are various moths here, dark arches, heart and dart, and brimstones. The research will be open source and welcome input from amateurs. To actually understand how evolution works and how the diversity of life on the planet arose, we really do need to look into the DNA. We do need to see the sorts of mutational changes that have occurred, because fundamentally that is the basis of diversity of life on the planet. Finally, the Aldabra cleanup project. Aldabra may be a UNESCO protected World Heritage Site, but the uninhabited coral atoll in the Indian Ocean is still plagued by tons of washed up plastic. So here's a bag of rubbish that was collected from a beach on Aldabra. And you can pick up this amount of rubbish from about one square metre, no problem. So this is the globe's trash? Or it's the globe's trash that's very good at surfing ocean currents for thousands of miles. Like flip-flops. Together with volunteers from the Seychelles, a team of Oxford students has collected and studied huge amounts of rubbish in a gruellingly intensive clean-up operation. It's partly a conservation project, it's partly a people project, it's partly shining a spotlight on a global problem. Affecting change in the world, Professor Sheldon says it's what biology at Oxford excels at. Tremendous breadth, but also depth. Yeah, I think that's what Oxford's trying to do, is to be, you know, to cover everything, but also to do it in real, real depth. Um, and I think that's what's unique. 